Well, welcome back to another video. And uh, this one's going to be a bit unusual in that most of my videos are all about fishing. And uh, if you're used to that, you're going to be pretty disappointed because there's going to be no fishing in this one at all. Now, I've had this wee lake installed here just to add a wee bit of background, but unfortunately my usual suppliers of lakes couldn't manage to supply me with any fish. But what I'm going to talk about is, and you might see it on me, is the Rode Wireless Go radio mics, and especially using them in stereo. Now I've come in here just to do a wee bit of stereo atmos and to sort of demonstrate my setup. And some people might find this interesting and some people might find it of no interest at all. Um, I know uh, very little about fishing, so I make lots of fishing videos, but I know a wee bit about audio things, so perhaps it'll be useful to somebody. I'm not going to get too bogged down in the details of the road uh, wireless go to setup and kit because there are there's plenty of videos about that and it, none of it's rocket science. But needless to say, um, I'll do a quick description and it has two little transmitters with an inbuilt mic um, and uh, also a receiver that can fit if you get the appropriate bits and bobs on top of the GoPro. Now my GoPro is a set Hero 7 and it requires an audio adapter, would you believe it, in order to get audio into it. Um, so I got this sort of case type thing from Ulanzi that contains a cold shoe and a place to put the adapter and all that and it's certainly a worthwhile investment but even so it forms quite a neat wee package um, for your for to improve your audio uh, and obviously you get two personal mics which means you can do things like record people at a distance i guess so to demonstrate the utility of this, as, as you can see, I'm at a bit of a distance now. I've got my glasses on because as I get old, I need my glasses to operate small stuff like Rode Wireless Goes, you know. Um, but this is quite handy. But I, I did observe that the microphones contained our omnis. And it occurred to me that as I can record one on each channel, what I could do is do spaced omni stereo. Um, because I do a lot of outdoors type stuff where quite honestly I could wild track most of the effects. So, you know, I could record the effects separate and lay some voice over them. Um, so what I decided to do was some experiments. And I'll show you a solution I've come up with for this that actually works really surprisingly well. What I'll do is I'll put the camera on my chest and give you a wee walk around my stereo solution and then I'll maybe let you hear some of it. Now, unfortunately, there's no birds tweeting and whatnot in here today, which there usually is, um, which would give a good stereo atmos. But nonetheless, I'll, I'll give a demonstration of it. Um, but it works surprisingly well. I've been really quite happy with it. OK, so here's my, my stereo setup. And as you can see, it's uh, fairly simple. What I did, and uh, you can probably just about make it out, is I took a GoPro buckle um, type device, knocked the screw out of it, it just tapped out, it was simple, and just glued in a bit of aluminium bar. Now, I started, uh, the hole's 5mm, it's an M5 thread. I actually ran a 5.5mm drill through it just to make it just that wee fraction bigger. Um, and I started with a three foot bar because one of the standard distances in Spaced Omni microphones is three feet. Um, so I thought we'll start with that. But I actually found that a distance about what you see in front of you, which is about 14 inches, seemed to work better really um, for what I'm doing. So I, I took it down to 14 inches uh, or thereabouts which is what you have in front of you. Um, and I'll let you hear it. Now, I have set this for mounting on top of the camera. So when I do a walk around in front of it, obviously it's going to be the slightly the wrong way around. But I'll, I'll come back to here and I will go. I'll, I'll not identify the sides because they'll be the wrong way around. But I'll come to this side first. So if I come round, you should hear me slowly move around the stereo image. And... If I come right on sort of the axis of the bar, 
I should be right round in your right ear, actually at the minute. And what I'll do then is I'll come round the other side. The ground's a wee bit rough here, but that adds a bit of entertainment. I'll come round the other side uh, to come on to the axis of the other bar, so I should be on, right on the left now. Well, that's a bit confusing. I should be dead on the left, would that do? Um, and uh, this provides very effective stereo. Now, you can probably hear, I've got a wee bit of wind going, um, and I'm, I haven't done much experimentation in the wind yet, so this is, this is a new development for me. I don't obviously have a personal mic on, so I'm just working to these two mics, and I can give them a wee scratch for you if you, if you so wish. So you can hear, you see? That's what you're hearing. Uh, so, uh, that has been my, my experiment so far, and I, I'm surprised at how well it works. Also, if I go right round, um, some people get a really good going round the back of your head effect. Other people it doesn't work with. Obviously, uh, spaced on these depend entirely upon time of arrival. Um, so your brain's very sensitive to the time of arrival of sounds. So this is depending entirely on time of arrival. So, but I will try going round the back for you just for the purposes of demonstration. So, if I come round here, I should be hard in your left ear, I think. And uh, now I'm going to come round the back and, oh, the wind's really getting up. And I'm going to experiment with the wind in a minute. So, if you're finding the wind very annoying, um, we'll do some experiments in a second to see if we can reduce that. So, I'm right on the back and then I'm going to come round this side, which should be your right hand side, um, and right round onto the front again. So, and you can see what you think about that. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I have got some really cheapy wind jammers, Doug furry Dougal type wind jammers, that are designed to fit over big microphones, and I'm going to see if I can cover the whole of the little transmitter box in them and see if that reduces the wind noise. So this is going to be our next experiment. Okay, so as you can see, I've stuck a couple of wind jammers on now. I haven't as yet found a way of closing up the wee holes in them, you see. So the, the performance will be far from perfect. Um, but you can see what you think about the reduction in wind noise. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'll leave everything in record, but I'll go quiet for a little while. Um, uh, there's a road over behind me. It's maybe a mile behind me, but I can certainly hear traffic noise from it. Um, and uh, we'll do a little experiment to see what you think uh, about the uh, about the how it sounds with the atmos and the wind and so on. Um, like I say, I haven't completely blocked up these holes, um, and so there's bound to be wind getting in there. But it's a start, you know. So a wee quick recording with both wind jammers on, just to give you an idea of the atmos. I'm now recording in the same spot with the uh, wind jammers off again, just to give you a wee idea.
So that's the wee stereo demo of my uh, of my uh, Rode Wireless Twos. Um, now they're not absolutely omnidirectional. I mean, you just making omnidirectional mics is very tricky, and these are obviously cheap mics that are not going to come close. So they're not completely omnidirectional, but I think they work very effectively. Um, it is also, and I'll, I'll maybe demonstrate this in a second. It, it is also possible to put the um, put a, a bar on top of the camera and do this with the gubbins actually mounted on top of the camera. It, it's a bit uh, trickier, um, and the bar's a bit shorter, which I think just isn't as ideal. But I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Okay, so this is using a bar on the cold shoe on top of the camera. What I have done is I have another camera here and I'll do shots of what I've actually got going on. But what I've done is I've mounted the wireless receiver on the left hand side. There's a, there's a, on this particular case for the GoPro, there's a cold shoe there. So I've mounted the wireless receiver on the left hand side of the camera and I have mounted then the two mics on the top. Now, they're very close together, closer than you would expect to work, but in testing that I've done with it, it does work. So in the first instance, what I'll do is, I'll do a wee bit, a wee stereo test for you, um, just so that you can, you can get some idea, um, I don't know, but if I come to this side, I should go fairly far round, and actually, if I come right on the axis of the bar, you probably can't see me now, but I'm way over here, um, and if I come round the other side, um, there's quite a stiff wind blowing, so, and I don't have the extra wind protection on at the minute, I have those in my pocket, but if I come onto the other side now, so this is me right on the axis of the bar on this side, now, I don't, I don't actually know which way around I have my channel, so this it might work the wrong way around. But anyhow, so I'll come back around here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is going to be a somewhat crazy video in the sense that you're not going to quite work out what's going on. But if this means anything to you, then it might just be useful to you, which I, I, I think or hope is the key. So I, I hope it's helpful to someone. Um, and I'll now let you hear a wee bit of the Atmos uh, just with uh, with these two closely spaced uh, omnis on top of the camera, just so you get the idea of what it sounds like. So, now for the purposes of my own entertainment, I have put the uh, wind uh, uh, jammers on the mics again, on the short bar. And again, this is just for, for a bit of a laugh. Um, and using my other camera, I'll shoot some video of that and cut it in here, because it's quite breezy, as you can probably hear and see. Um, uh, so, I'll let you uh, have you well, I'll keep quiet and leave you some silence and you can see what you think of this. So I've got my cup of tea and I've got the personal mic on and as you can hear I should be pretty mono now um, and that doesn't, you know, it doesn't sound great. The wind's actually, hello, the waves are going this way up the loft, the wind's in my face, um, it's very changeable. So what I'll do is I'll give you a few words here in, in mono 
And then what I intend to do is put this mic that I'm wearing, this one here, if I tap it, you see, I'll put this back on the top of the camera and I'll record some wild track stereo uh, with the plan of laying it over the top of this, th this bit of this speech. And you can hear that the effect that adding just some stereo to it can make and see if that might work for you. And again, it may or may not. It's uh, for many people, it's not worth the effort. Even for the very simple videos I do, it's probably not worth the effort, but I just, I thought it was an interesting diversion and again, you know, Rode obviously don't market these as stereo microphones. Um, they, they market them as use in, for interviews and things like that. But if you're traveling light, want a light kit and are willing to wild track some of your, your background audio, um, you couldn't beat it really, you know, it's a very effective way of doing it. So I'm going to put this back on the top of the camera on the wee narrow bar. Um, so this isn't the most effective stereo that's running behind me. Um, but nonetheless, see, see what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it's useful to somebody.